just seemed like the person was out of the control. The car was just driving by itself, it seemed like. It was, it was everywhere. It was swerving. It was everywhere. Metro continues to investigate last night's tragic crash at Eastern and Flamingo that left three people dead and several others injured. And according to police, Daniel Becker is facing several DUI charges resulting in death and bodily harm and reckless driving charges. 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi spoke with Becker's family last night who says he wasn't drinking. Masa. Uh, Steve Trisha police did draw his blood last night and soon after he was charged with DUI charges. So police do believe he was intoxicated. The investigation went long into the night into the early morning hours. You can see some of the markings left on the road. Now Becker's family tells us he was finishing up his shift at work about two blocks from his house when he lost control of his car here. Police describe how he slammed into multiple cars, crossed the center median before crashing into three pedestrians killing them on scene, police say, and then allegedly striking even more cars. Now, there are no similar uh, allegations in his past, but police say he's had some minor run-ins with the law, including a warrant for a uh, no valid driver's license. That was nearly a decade ago. In addition to the three people who were killed, we know that one mom is recovering right now at the hospital. Becker's family told me last night they are thinking about all of the victims, and we're also trying to get in touch with family members of some of the victims as well. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. All right, Masa.